Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Explosive play. That's a catchphrase for coaches all over the country, and both of these teams are certainly capable of getting them in bunches. They love to throw the football down the field, so you better buckle up. And the secondaries better buckle those chin straps. They're in for a long day. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Washington State lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He'll take it from the two. At the 30. Tackle made at the 48. Boise State's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Zips it to the back. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. First and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. He gets hit out of bounds. The 33 yard line and a pickup of about seven. But anytime a quarterback sees zone coverage, this is a very easy and comfortable throw. There's plenty of room to work for the receiver. He's able to get out of his cut and get the football out on the edge. They go with the run. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. Ramsey's the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. First and 10, ball on the 30 yard line. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle at the 28. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. He's tackled around the one-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Made at the one. 
from the one yard line. Second down. They line up in the jumbo set. Run left side. He's taken down at the three yard line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. This is the 10th play of this drive. Guns it in there. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So a 10 play, 52 yard drive. And they put up seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of center. So the score now, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's taken down at the 26. Incomplete. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. The defender made a solid effort to get to the ball there. Nice stop. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He makes it out to midfield. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From the 50, it's second down. Boise State up seven points. He's at the 30. Brought down right around the 24-yard line. The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure is a load to bring down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. Sanders, the ball carrier, and they make the stop around the 26-yard line. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Straight run, nothing going on there. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 26. Caught out of the open. They'll bring him down at the 10.
It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, Boise State. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Boise State is up seven. Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Broken and caught for the touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. And for Oklahoma State, they're shooting for their fifth straight win. The Cowboys are on top, 28-21. In other action, the Sooners had a spot in the top four. They're hoping for so much more after a brilliant performance. If I were the losing coach in this one, I'd stay off the message board. There are going to be people wanting this coach far. F-A-H-R-E-D. That means like really, really fire. The Sooners thrashed them and take the big victory. 14 to nothing in this one, Reese. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. King from the five. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 34. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he can't get away from the pressure. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Got his receiver. Dropped it. Incomplete. Well, as you just saw it right there, the screen pass can be a very effective weapon for an offense, especially when they're disciplined and when the receivers are patient. Caught enough for the first down. He's brought down in the open field. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. That makes it second and ten. From the 36-yard line. Second down. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's looking for six. Dropped. That'll bring up fourth down. What do you think they'll do? I don't know what they'll do, but I think they should just kick the field goal. It's early in the game, so I'd take the safe three points. So they're going to go for it here. Uh -huh. 
Gets out to around the 15. The 10, complete. And he's tackled right around the 10-yard line. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. hit before he can go anywhere. That makes it first and goal. Here's the 12th play of the drive. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make the play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Got a receiver and he dropped it. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. So it's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Washington State lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Almost completely stopped immediately. need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. He's going to try and scramble. And now he's going to improvise. Tackle around the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line. First down. Quick strike, and he drops it. Green gets it to his tailback, and he hits him hard at the 39. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. It out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the 24 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24 yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide.
Pass complete and taken down immediately. Myron picks him up around seven yards with that catch. The Broncos will use their first time out of the half. Here's the eighth play of the series. Six-yard line. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Good throw, caught, touchdown. Make it two TD catches now and a great awareness by the quarterback to get him the ball and pick up six points. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Oklahoma State in the house T. Boone built. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Oklahoma State, they are now in control. Paul's game is solid. He has a touchdown catch. All right, Reese, back to our game. Ewing ready to kick. King fields it at the two. Tackle made at the 21. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Fires that quickly incomplete. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Zips it to the back. He's knocked out of bounds around the 28-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. Washington State's going to take their first time out of the half. Six and he got it. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A four play, 79 yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys kind of be coming over the sidelines after touchdown after touchdown saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So our score, 21 10. Myron fields it at the one. Tackle at the 33. Boise State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders for me right now. It's everything they plan for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. He's out of bounds around the 37 yard line. Second down and six. Ball on the 37-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. And he tackles him hard at the 47. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. From the 41-yard line, first down. Going deep, lays it out there. And bring him down around the two-yard line. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. The Broncos in front by 11.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses first and foremost did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. King from the two. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. First of all, clip it. Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Passes it to the middle of the field, and he's taken down at the 16-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Go back to him on a quick throw. Drop down at the 24. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down at about the 39 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Throws a laser across the middle. And they make the stop at the 48. Booker makes the tackle up at the 48-yard line. That brings up second and one. Watch number 12. Watch number 12. Makes it out to about the 40. That's a deep scroll on the play. First down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Gain of six yards. That brings him second and five. From the 34 yard line, second down. He steps out right around the 30. Third down. And he's hit immediately. Booker brings him down at the 24 yard line. First down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24. Quick out to his receiver. And he's tackled around the 17-yard line. Booker on the tackle at the 17-yard line. 
That makes it third and three. Watch the run, watch the run. Mike 13, Mike 13. And he is drilled at the 11-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Play 13 of the current drive. Quick pass. Tackle around the 12 yard line. That makes it third and 11. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. Washington State ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 27-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Boise State is up by four. And down he goes at the 29. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's tackled at the 35. Gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Scrambling around. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Chavez back deep to return. Brought down at the 30 yard line. Boise State's coaches just got to be happy. I love the coaching kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this, and another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he shoved out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 29. Caught over the middle. Tackle made at the 41. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. Larry, Larry. Mike 13. Mike 13. That's the run. They're running in. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Larry, Larry. Man can't tack on any yardage. Seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Fires it out. And they push him out at the 46 yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. First down. Throw 
goes out to the back, and it's to his hands. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. And he's brought down quickly. That's good for a gain of seven yards. Third down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it first and ten. Great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The Broncos lead it by four. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Look at left, finds his fullback. He gets hit out of bounds around the 24-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. I got him, I got him. Mike 13, Mike 13. There's a strike complete. What a play, and that is first and goal. That's good for a gain of 23 yards. That makes it first and goal. three scoring tosses in the game now. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, time to check out what's going on in Stillwater. And for Oklahoma State, the W today will send them bowling. And for Roberts, a remarkable performance with six touchdowns on the day. Real recognize real, and real recognize this kid in another game. Let's have a look at what's going on in Los Angeles. And for USC, let's keep an eye on this game where a major surprise could be brewing. The Sun Devils have the edge, 17-14. Reese were separated by a field goal here, 24-21. Washington State to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seventh. They'll bring him down at the 25. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They'll get him in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 24 yard line. Here comes the pressure. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's level at the 49-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 49. Run right, hit in the back. 
field. Lost a score on the play. That brings up second and 13. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Slings it, and he hits him hard at the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, first down. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 30. Just under three to go in regulation. Let's go. Let's go. With the pass incomplete. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. And this is the eighth play of the drive. the fake. Quick throw to the tight end. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. They've won two straight. Black's a confident presence in the passing game, and he threw for more than 200 yards in this one. The Sun Devils win 24-17. Well, that's an absolutely shocking upset. You can count on that one to turn the poles upside down when they're released. Ewing ready to kick. King from the three. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. Quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds around the 34-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. And he's immediately tackled. He throws. He caught it. And now they've got the lead.
The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Play game, offense.
So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Boise State's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And they get the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That'll bring up third and eight. Third and long in the fourth quarter. If the defense gets a stop here, it might be a W. Just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. He's got it with room to run. He's knocked out of bounds around the 46 yard line. their own 46 yard line it's first down the defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush and that time it paid off with an incompletion State will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Going long. He gets another, and this is a big one. And it's a whole new ball game. The Broncos knew they had star quarterback he came through for him in the clutch and this defense knows how good this quarterback is in fact that's why they decided to try to get as much pressure on him as they could they weren't able to get home leaving him plenty of time to make the throw and he delivered when he needed to he splits the uprights for the extra point the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off Chavez fields at the goal line. Brought down at the 23. These offensive coordinators have done a remarkable job. I think it's going to be who blinks first. Well, I think both of them right now feel pretty good about what they're trying to do. The challenge for them is not to change the mojo and the rhythm that they've both been able to create. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? To the 20, to the 10, touchdown! What a run to take the lead. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. He'll take it from the two. And he's taken down at the 32. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer. And that's exactly what we just saw. 
One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. Well, this sets up the drama here in the fourth quarter. They've got the opportunity they've been looking for, an opportunity to take the lead and the win. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Throws it deep. Brought down at the 27. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the seven-yard line. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. They've done it. I can't believe it. State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.